Sounds the guy here. What's going on, my kittens? Like, subscribe, share. I don't make ver videos very often. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of nice things going on right now, you know what I mean? So, but I mean, if, if you like my videos, just like, subscribe, helps out a lot. Okay, so let's get into the video. I want to talk about Russian interference, not Russian collusion, Russian interference in our election. Now, <clears throat> was there Russian interference in the election? I personally think yes, there was, but not technically in the way people think. I think there was Russian interference because they were spreading fake news. Uh, they were on Facebook with different, um, doing different things against people, against Hillary Clinton. Not that I really have a problem with it, but it is our democracy. This is our, how we vote. This is how we get our messages out. This is how we talk to people and so on and so forth. This is how we elect our presidents and our and just our general people. You know, our, our congressmen and elected officials. This could be really, really dangerous. But what I really want to talk about is is that it is not anything all that new and what I mean by that is is that what Congress is forgetting and so is the rest of the uh, rest of the country is that the United States unfortunately has been guilty of this for years decades you know the the United States has been interfering with the rest of the world's elections for a very long time. So, basically, it's kind of like that reap what you sow thing, you know? I mean, declassified documents have shown that the United States has interfered in elections all over the world. You know, whether they're not accepting certain people, whether they're, you know, not accepting of certain people, certain governments, and so on and so forth. That's the way the United States operates. They want, you know, certain kinds of people to be in office, and they'll pretty much do anything to get them into office. And they'll interfere in their election process in order to make that happen. Do I agree with this? No. I think people should be able to rule their, well, govern their countries how they see fit. That's, that's the whole point of democracy. Whether it's a democracy, whether it's socialism, communism, outright dictatorship... If that's what the people choose, that's what the people want, let them have it. You know what I mean? I, I, who, who am I to say that, you know, you can't have socialism, you can't have communism in your country? <clears throat> now, in the United States, we have capitalism, we have democracy, and our country is a republic. Would I fight con uh, communism and socialism? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I don't want... A version of Joseph Stalin. I don't want Karl Marx. Karl Marx. Sorry. I don't want Kim Jong Un. I don't want uh, the Democratic Republic of China. Great. My character just got high. So yeah, I'm going to fight those things to to the hilt. And it starts with our constitutional rights, with our Second Amendment, how the Democrats constantly attack the Second Amendment. They get a foothold into the Second Amendment, well, guess what? Now they can go on to freedom of speech, and they're already attacking that now. They're using the universities, they're using our high schools, they're using the, uh, the gay community, 
They're using everything to attack our freedom of speech of what you can and cannot say and who, who you are, what color you are that matters. And this is all about socialism and communism and it all goes back to Russian interference in the election. Russians didn't want a Democrat president. They really didn't. They wanted a Republican president. They wanted they wanted Donald Trump in office, to tell you the truth. Hillary was a shill. <clears throat> she was nothing but a shill and then basically a puppet. She was Obama 2.0. And you know, it's not like I didn't like Obama. I respected the man as a president, but I really would not have respected Hillary as a president. And there's a reason why for that. During the presidential run, Hillary had noted that she would carry on Obama's legacy. I don't like that. I really don't. Every president that has ever been has always brought something new to the table as being a president. They've always been unique in the way that they lead our country. Hillary was just basically going to be Obama's puppet. She was going to carry on his legacy. And to me, that sounds awfully like a dictatorship. That's not doing something unique and your own to the presidency that and leading our country. That is just... Obama sitting in a house somewhere detailing how um, Hillary should run the country. And that's just, that, that is a form of dictatorship, how somebody else thinks a country should run. Now, like I said, it all goes back to Russian interference. The Russians are pissed, okay? Now, whether you believe that the Soviet Union is dead or whether you believe it's not, that's completely up to you. But the Russians are pissed, okay? The Russians, Russians and government has been pissed for a very long time, okay? The United States has most likely messed with Russian elections before. I know for certain the declassified documents show that the U.S. government not exactly willing to let loose on what government, what government agency is responsible for it, but have interfered in a lot of um, foreign governments. Um, uh, governmental elections. I personally think that this is revenge for all that. That they finally, that the Russians, you know, with uh, cyber warfare and so on and so forth, that they finally had a way to mess with America, creating division and so on and so forth. They finally had a way to screw with Americans' heads. And guess what? You're picking it up hook, line, and sinker. These people are excellent in messing with people's heads. Excellent at it. And you're proving them right. You already know that there was Russian interference, but for some reason... You people really don't have a clue. You really don't. You have no idea what, you, what you're unleashing upon the world. You're, you're letting the Russians dictate our own elections. That is dangerous. Whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, that is highly, highly dangerous. They're not hacking our voting machines. They're not turning off our electricity. This is what you people don't seem to get.
they are hacking your minds. I know that sounds a little weird to to comprehend. They are hacking your minds. They are spreading fake news on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, other social media sites, YouTube, and so on and so forth, to spread discourse and discontent with our electoral system. To spread divide and hate amongst the United States citizens. It's what they want. They want, whoops, they want me to fall out of a Jeep, obviously, but they want the discontent. They want us to hate each other, to spread the, 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 the hate amongst the United States. A divided nation is an easy nation to take over. It really, really is. Do you really want to give them that? I mean, most Americans don't remember. They don't remember the evil, which is basically the old Soviet Union. They were, oh God, they were nasty. I do. I remember all that. Why? I No, I never, no, I did not grow up in Soviet-era Russia. But I remember my father talking about it and how nasty the Soviet Union can be. How nasty they treat their people. I mean, yeah, they're a so they're a uh, they're a um, they're a socialistic uh, country, but. The problem is with socialism eventually because eventually it will turn into communism because socialism will collapse it'll collapse completely and it will turn into a communist dictatorship and why does all this go back to the elections? Well, if Russia is able to convince most of this nation that what they need is a socialism type government, and guess what? They won. Because now you're exactly like them. Oops. Logs. You're exactly like them. There's nothing really separating you from them except for a shitload of ocean and some mat land mass because you'll have the exact same thought process they do. That's what the Russian government really wants. They want the United States to turn into the United Soviet Union. That's what this is all about has nothing to do with President Trump, had nothing to do with Hillary. It was all about creating a socialist state in the U.S. I mean, if you don't believe me, it's, that's fine. If you don't think it can happen, that's fine too. But just to let you know, it can happen, it will happen, if you let it. If you let Russia completely take over our democracy, then yes, it will happen. And there's not a damn thing you can say or do about it. So, Russian interference, yes, there was Russian interference, but you reap what you sow in this country. And this country has, unfortunately, a very long um, history of farting about in other people's democratic uh, election processes. And quite frankly, it's reap what you sow. So, if it were me, 
I, w I would really start thinking about, you know, about certain people. I'd start thinking about who you're going to elect, who you're going to support in the next election. Because if you're thinking about supporting, you know, um, Democrats, Democrats, all they want to do is just control you. And they've been doing it since the 1800s. And black people can attest for this. With the Jim Crow laws. 1865. Democrat, Democrats filibustered for 54 days in the Senate and in the House to continue slavery. That is just messed up. And I'm missing this dude completely. Of course, I was shooting through a tree. So, you know, what do, what, do you, what do you think? I mean, it's, to me, it's just, oh, hello. To me, it's just the way of the world. It really is control by bullshit. And that's all it is, really. It's controlled by bullshit. So, let me know what you think in the comment section. Like I said, I think that, you know, this country is heading towards a socialist government. I mean, the, the, the people say that, you know, that socialism won't take control. Horseshit. If people believe in it enough, it will. But you got to... You know, you got to elect politicians that won't believe in the socialist bullshit. Bernie Sanders is one of those people that you really, really, really don't want in office. He's a socialist. Yes, he may say that, you know, that... Um, that you know, he doesn't believe in Vladimir Putin. Horseshit. He was a staunch advocator, well, not advocator, but he was a staunch defender of Fidel Castro. And Fidel Castro is what? He's a communist. He's a socialist. He's also a staunch defender of the Venezuelan government with Maduro. And what are they? They're socialist, communist. He's full of shit. Ocasio-Cortez is full of shit. All they want is power and control. And they do this by taking out the Second Amendment, your freedom of speech. Once they got that, they've completely taken over everything. You have nothing else left to combat their bullshit with. You can't fight back. You can't, you know, tell people no. Even if you could fight back with your guns anyway, it would be useless because they'd just send out the freaking military after your ass. So if you think you're going to win that fucking fight, you're sadly mistaken. But at least you'd be able to put up a somewhat of a defense of your own self. Democrats don't want that. They didn't want that for black people. Just look at it. Look it up. It's in your history. Black people, they got screwed out of the Second Amendment with the Jim Crow, Jim Crow laws. And guess who enacted those laws? Democrats. Democrats want a, want a socialistic state. 
I'm, I'm, I'll be highly surprised, highly, highly surprised if the Democrat Party did not purposefully, purposefully call on the, um, on the, um, on the Russian government to sabotage their election so they could push this socialistic shit down our throats. I would, I wouldn't doubt it in the slightest that the Democrat Party called the Russian, called on the Russian government to purposefully sabotage their, um, their, uh, uh, their chances of uh, getting president, uh, you know, getting the presidency of the United States in 2016, just to make the Republican Party look like shit. So that way they could turn around and blame it all on them and say, hey, they're the ones who uh, did this Russian collusion shit. Well, uh, it's not my opinion of that matter. It's just a thought. It's not even a conspiracy theory. It's just a thought. But technically, I wouldn't be surprised. I really wouldn't. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, like, share, subscribe does help out a lot. Seems that my channel is really, really small. Um, and I will, uh, I will talk to you all soon. Uh, be nice. Do long division or something. I don't know. Talk to you all soon. Later.